Peter Atul, the actor best known for his role in Lawrence of Arabia, would have been 90 years old today had he not tragically died in 2013. But where his millions went would stir controversy for months after he passed as one of his children was mysteriously left out of the will. Peter O'Toole, had three children, two daughters from his ex-wife and following his divorce had a son with his girlfriend at the time. He was a much-loved actor, rising to fame in the 1960s and remaining in the entertainment industry until barely a year before his death. The actor sadly passed away in 2013 aged 81 after a long battle with stomach cancer, but revelations on where his estate went saw O'Toole making news headlines months after his death. Part of his stomach, as well as his pancreas, had already been removed in 1976 which left him insulin dependent and the star almost died in 1979 from a blood disorder. According to Celebrity Net Worth, he had an estimated net worth of $50 million, 40 million pounds, at the time of his death. O'Toole's will describe a long list of beneficiaries, including £200,000 being left for his personal assistant. For his family, O'Toole left an estimated £760,000 to his son Lorcan and £4 million to his eldest daughter, Kate. However, O'Toole's younger daughter Patricia received not a single penny. The public was shocked at this revelation, especially when it was revealed Patricia's daughter Jessica had reportedly received £360,000 and the actor's Minnie Cooper. Jessica was just 14 at the time her grandfather died and would only be able to receive her hefty inheritance when she turned 18. Kate and Patricia were both born out of O'Toole's marriage with actress Sean Phillips.